Hey everyone, imagine we have a list of items on the screen, ally items right here, and you want to confirm that the first item has the text, and you don't know the text, but you know it should be one of several possible strings, like first or primo. So how would you do that? In this video I'll show a couple of ways. So one, we want to get all the items, ally elements, and this will return whatever number is at first. and we want to have a first item and it might change. So what we want to do is create a single assertion callback so that we can get the first item, gets its text, and check if text is one of available strings. So we'll say should and we get the items and it's a jQuery object. And we can say if you take the first element and call the text, then you expect this text to be one of and then the list of strings, so first or primo. And so what it does, it gets the text, runs it for an assertion, and for example, if it didn't uh, have one of these values, it would retry getting the elements again. Okay, so this is kind of cumbersome, maybe there is a shorter way to write this. A possible way is to use a regular expression with scicontains command. And in this case, you'll have to write a regular expression. So you say, okay, I know exactly what the string should be. And it's one of the two variants, first or primo. Okay. Now we have a problem because we are actually including the text from all items, right? So we want to add a jQuery first selector, right? So it's limited to just the first item. Even better these days is to use Cypress version 12. Then we can say, okay, get me all items and I'll call first and then I'll invoke text. And then it, just like our first example, should be one of and then strings first or primo. In Cypress version 12, we have a chain of commands, but all these commands get first and invoke are query commands. So if this assertion fails, it goes back and retries the whole chain of queries again, which is visible, for example, if instead of first, we'll say fifth. Okay, notice that the fifth is the last one, right? So if it's never in the first position, so we'll use a last command. And now notice it retries until the very last one really is the correct one, one of those strings. So these are three different ways of checking if an element's text has one of possible strings.